Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and I'm here with a video tutorial on how to teach you how to do the virtual kinesis. Now virtual kinesis is very similar to umbra kinesis, um, but in this case you're moving the object's reflection on a mirror. So you're moving the object through the reflection that it projects on a mirror. And it's very similar to umbra kinesis where you use, um, you move the object through the shadow that it's casting on the wall. Okay, so on to the tutorial. Uh, the first thing you want to do is develop your psychokinesis, your telekinesis on regular, you know, things. Not really jumping into virtual kinesis, but basic telekinesis. As you can see there, I'm uh, performing telekinesis on a side wheel type of looking object. It's a big dollar balanced on a needle or nail. And I basically mastered this thing. So uh, what you want to do is you have to just, uh, you know, do basic telekinesis, you know, try to do side wheels, small ones, and things like that. Get yourself really familiar with uh, how to move the side wheel and everything. And you want to, um, basically the tip that I want to give you is that with Umbra or Virtual Kinesis, they're both basically the same thing. The reflection on a mirror or the shadow on a wall are connected to the objects that are casting a shadow or projecting that reflection. They're both connected solidly together. You have to basically consider the reflection that's on the mirror as if it's the object. So think of the reflection as though it is the object itself. Uh, don't think of it as if it's separate from the object. Um, and uh, just be comfortable with it. Don't rush and don't push. And uh, you'll be able to get some movement going. Your brain and your eyes will be able to kind of recognize that. And uh, with virtual kinesis, it's a little bit more uh, simpler than Umbra, because Umbra is just a two-dimensional black uh, uh, um, shadow, you know, that's on a wall. And with the virtual, you're seeing a three-dimensional <clears throat> object being reflected on a mirror. So you get to see the details, the colors, and all the little, little nuances that you wouldn't with the umbra kinesis and moving a shadow that the object is casting. So um, just look at the object and consider the reflection that's on the mirror as if it's the object itself. Take your time. Thank you guys. Ricky Cespedes.